Welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's been a crazy few weeks. I can touch on that at the end of the video for those of you that are interested. But for those of you who are here to learn how to become a better photographer, I don't want to waste your time. So here we go. Let's jump into it. It is not learning manual. It is not learning all these tips and tricks. It is not downloading LUTs, though that could be a little part of it. The tip I am going to give you, and I'm about to destroy my YouTube retention right here, is find your favorite photographer. Find your favorite photographer. I have three. One is Annie Leibovitz, two is Joey Lawrence, and three is Ben Von Wong. There is no particular order to that. I like them all. They're all great. Here are my reasons why. Annie Leibovitz. She has a way of telling a story with a portrait that is very simple and quite honestly does not look traditionally professional. Um, but her art is beautiful and it's very normal looking, but to a photographer's eye, there's something very special about it. You can almost always pick it out in a lineup next to all other portrait photographers. It's just very different. The way she lights is beautiful. The way she edits is beautiful. Two, Joey Lawrence. He is a god with portraits. That man knows how to take a portrait of someone from his staging to really, for me, I think it comes down to the face that he is able to draw out of people. I know that sounds silly, like the people are just making their face, but Joey is able to bring it out. Also, his lighting is, ugh. He just dropped a new book, I believe it was on his trip to Ethiopia, and the way he lit it, the way he lit his portraits, blew my mind. Go look it up, I'm not gonna spoil the fun for you. It is so cool. It, it looks like this crazy light. It looks like a crazy light. It's not. Go look at Joey Lawrence's stuff. Benjamin Von Wong. He is a little wild. He is more of a conceptual portrait photographer. He does a lot of political statements with his photography. I really love it um, because his photography kind of stands for something. Uh, every image is very purposeful with the way he takes a shot. Every little detail you see in his image was crafted by him. He is really ingenious. I would say probably out of that bunch, not technically the best portrait photographer, but conceptually the most creative. Now, when I started doing photography, it took me a while to find these photographers and I would go on YouTube. As I was learning how to be a photographer, I would stumble upon these guys. None of these guys have like crazy YouTube channels. They're just really talented photographers. But I would study them. I would look at how they lit something and they didn't always have all their stuff online, which was the hard part. So it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of tweaking things in Lightroom, seeing what colors work. Just this past like month, I was working on a portrait and I really wanted it to have a touch of like any Leibovitz in there. I wanted that color. It's a softness and continuity throughout the whole image with these colors and the lighting. Everything looks almost stale, but beautifully mellow at the same time. I know it's like a really artsy, contradictory, dick thing to say, but it's true. It's beautiful. 
All that to say, I truly believe that once you nail your technical stuff, which let's be real, I think that's probably one of the easiest things to do with photography. You need to find your favorite photographer. Find them. Look through all these photographers. Take a while and look at a lot of photographers and find your favorite one. And once you do, go out and start taking images like they do light it like they would and that doesn't mean you know get ten thousand dollar lights or like you a ten thousand dollar camera ten thousand dollar lens whatever it is that means try to pose these people like annie or like whoever your favorite is try to shape the light in a way that they would and then when you get into post Grab the image that you're trying to copy, put it right next to your image, and mess with color, mess with lighting, mess with texture. <sighs> and really, that's it. That's it. I know it seems simple, almost too simple, but it's true. I think the only good way to get really fucking good at photography is to find someone that you love and start to emulate them. And then after that, you start to make your style. You start to mold yourself. It goes like that for music. When you start playing music, you start to learn other people's songs. When you start painting, you start trying to emulate other painters. It is like that with photography too. Learn your craft, then find someone that you really respect and try to emulate them and then you'll start to build your style. That's all I've got for you today. Now, for those of you who stuck around and want to know what else I have going on, I just had my first exhibit. I thought it was going to take a year to do that, and it did not. Now, this is not the final exhibit I want to do. It's not the big exhibit, but the opening was, well, Saturday. It was April 1st. You'll be seeing this April 2nd. Um, but yeah, it was wild. And I will show you just one image that I took from it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for watching the videos too. Um, Jesus Christ, the past two videos, um, you know, it's not like they even have thousands of views, but hundreds of views, that's way more than I expected. Um, to the eight subscribers, I know that sounds stupid, but to the eight subscribers that subscribed, thank you so much. I really fucking appreciate it. You guys are great. Um, and that's all I've got. Thank you so much. This next week, this next week, I am going to be diving back in to the whole exhibit, the whole art show thing. Um, you guys will see part of my exhibit. Fingers crossed, I get to uh, talk to my gallery director and we'll interview her for this video. I think next week's video is gonna be a big boy. Uh, I am very excited about it. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I hope you learned something. It's a really important lesson for me at least. Go out there, find your favorite photographer, emulate them, get good. Get good at photography. Let's get good at photography. Say it along with me. Get good at photography. Hell yeah. Peace.